So, according to the Bank of Ghana, port activities in the country have reduced drastically, but air passenger arrival is up 13.4% year on year. But I see this to be a piece of good news for the beautiful country. So, without wasting much of your time, let's dive deeper into the story to see why this is happening in the country. But don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you very much for your support. Now, let's dive into it. For the past few weeks now, I've been seeing some media platforms like BBC and other platforms posting videos with titles like How Ghana's Rising Star Plunged into an Economic Crisis. Another one also says, Damn, Ghana is broke. And I said, Wow, these guys are late because Ghana has been broke since last year 2022. And looking at the numbers now, the country is recovering. Well, let's look at the numbers I'm talking about. Ghana's economy has been facing significant challenges since 2022. Economic growth slowed to 3.1% in 2022, down from 5.4% in 2021. Inflation has also been rising sharply. According to a report from the Ghana Statistical Service, inflation rate for December 2022 was 54.1%. But as of August this year, it has declined to 40%. 0.1%. Not that good, but it's better than 50 plus percent. So, how were they able to do that? Well, in 2022, during the peak of the economic hardship, the government took several steps to address the challenges. These steps include 1. Securing a 3-year IMF extended credit facility program of about 3 billion US dollars. 2. Embarking on comprehensive debt restructuring. 3. Increasing interest rate and 4. The government of Ghana's banned on the importation of goods and products which can be produced locally. And I think that has contributed significantly to this Bank of Ghana's report of port activities declined. When we say port activities have been declined, there are two things involved. It's either a decline in import or a decline in export. But either way, it is good for the country in long term. Because if exports have been reduced, it means that the country is now utilizing its natural resources locally. And if imports have been reduced, it also means the people are now consuming what they are producing in the country. And it is a good news. So now, let's go into the details of the Bank of Ghana's report. There are two main harbors in Ghana, which are the Tema Harbor and the Takrade Harbor. And if you look at the report from the Bank of Ghana, it says that international trade at the country's two main harbors are measured by laden container traffic for inbound and outbound containers, and it has been declined at the end of July 2023. According to 8 September Monetary Policy Report, total container traffic is by 2.4% year on year to 56,660 in July 2023, down from 58,261 in July 2022. In accumulative terms, total container traffic for the first seven months of 2023 dipped by 11.1% to 357,680 compared with 402,277 for the corresponding period of last year. Meanwhile, air passenger arrival have also improved by 13.4% in year-on-year -year terms to 104,460 in July 2023, up from 92,140 arrival recorded last year. So compared to June 2023, passenger arrival went up by 13%. So what are your thoughts on this? Do you think this drastic decline of Ghana port activities is a good sign of the country's self-sufficiency agenda or is all part of the economic challenges the country is facing? Let us know in the comment section below. My name is Sharif Haruna. Thank you very much for watching. Have a joyful life and see you in our next video. Makrao.